we would go, oh, those are neat looking sea sponges. And we'd have to correct them and say, no, they're not from the sea. They're actually grown on our farm. I'm Nathan Pauls, and my wife Sherry and I, we grow loofah sponges uh, here in Reedley, California. Prior to this, we were using synthetic sponges in the sink, and they seem to stink quite easily and, and quite quickly. Whereas these, we've never had that issue. And we've been told that these are naturally antimicrobial because it's a, it's a plant fiber. 95% of the people did not have any clue what we were selling. They'd walk by our booth and go, oh, that's funny looking bread. Most people in the United States don't know what a loofah sponge is. Uh, except maybe the nylon puff that you can get in the store or something else like that, but that's synthetic. Well, loofah sponges, up until about World War II, were the most popular sponge in the United States. And they were being imported from Japan. And when Pearl Harbor happened, that kind of ended the sponge trade with Japan. And since then, the United States has been manufacturing or synthesizing the sponge. And so we're hoping to bring it back. We got started on a fluke. Uh, my wife is a school teacher, and years ago, one of her student teachers brought her this, I'd called it an ugly gourd. She brought it home, and I said, well, what is this? She goes, I don't know. I thought, you know, I don't know what it is, have no clue, but I'll plant a few seeds. And we grew about 100 plants. We were giving it to friends and family, and everyone loved them. And so the next year we thought, you know what, maybe we can try to make a business out of it. We plant them in a hothouse, January, early February, and we wait for the seeds to uh, sprout, which is anywhere from five days to two months. When the plant is about this tall, we set it out here to grow after the danger of frost has passed. And we wait for them to grow, and they start blooming around the equinox, around springtime or so, and that's when they start getting pollenized, and we start, start seeing little loofahs growing. When the gourds are hopefully like this, but we may pick them when they're like this, we'll claw through the vines, and whenever we see one, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll clip it with a clipper. There's about a, uh, a month to month and a half time period that we go through every few days uh, searching for more gourds that have turned color. They're so light. Oh my gosh, it's like an instrument. Open it up, and we have ourselves a scrubber. You can have the heavy duty part on the outside, and if you want to have just medium duty scrubbing, you can roll it up, and you've got it this way. It's been a lot of fun trying to figure out how to actually grow a loofah to maturity and grow one that actually would produce a decent sponge. Sherry and I and Jessica, we just we just love doing this, and we love the fact that people are so surprised at our product and how we grow it. <laughs> it's raining loofah seeds! <laughs> <laughs>